Hello everybody, it's Nick from Mincer Review here, and I'm back playing Left 4 Dead 2, uh, Mod Edition. <clears throat> oh, it's gonna be so fun. Everyone out there excited? Of course you're not, because nobody cares. Let's start. Ah, the loading screen. It's gotta load, like, 99 mods. Uh, I got a message, uh, from somebody that asked me, uh, asked me if they could get this on the 360, and I said, well, if you ha I'll be honest, if you hacked your 360, yes, you can put about anything on it if you want, but that's such a hard process that I guarantee nobody out there will ever do that, that I will ever know, or nobody, and especially nobody will ever message me about it, because they're like, oh, you know, I could hack it? Okay, I'm going to create all the software, I'm going to hook it up to my PC, and I'm going, I'm going to change all the system files, and then I'm going to destroy the registry, so that way it doesn't actually have to check, so, you know, it's just a long, long process. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But yeah, I had a message and somebody asked me about, could I get this on 360? I said, no, of course not. And three, nothing, nothing on the 360 is ever fun. But the weird one, the weird part about that was not that, um, not that he asked that question, was that he deleted his uh, comment immediately after. Which is weird because he, uh, I, at the end of the first, he, whoever did this put it on the first video. And uh, if it's still there and I just don't know, my thing's not, you know, popping it up. I'm sorry, you know, that I'm, like, questioning you, but it's not on mine, and I can't see it. Oh, we're playing sorry, a folks. Dark Carnival. This car is capable of miracles, but it can't drive over 20 miles of parked cars. How do you know that? I think we're walking. God damn you, Jimmy Gibbs Jr. Well, see, that would just uncall for. <laughs> Serious. All right, you primitive screwhead, listen up. See this? This is my copyright phrase, which I will not say. Ah, uh, Dark Carnival. Check I'm actually going to... Okay, hold on a second. Because I'm listening to this, listen to this via headphones, and that is extremely loud. So yeah, whoever deleted that comment, you know, or if you didn't delete it, I'm just crazy, you know, sorry for uh, questioning you. But, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know why you deleted it, I mean. Because you know. the thing is that the reason I didn't, I don't understand why you deleted it, it's because you, you had, you put groovy in it, because at the end of the first video, I, instead of, I usually say enjoy, well, if I remember to. But, uh, at the end of this one, I put groovy, you know, because that's what, uh, one of the... You know, weirder Bruce Campbell lines from Army of Darkness was, and um, and yeah, he put groovy. Then he put the uh, he put a, a colon colon p. You know, to, like the con to simulate a face with a tongue sticking out. And uh, yeah, then he deleted the comment. I just thought that was kind of weird. I mean, I don't, I don't understand. The, you know, if, if you want to comment, you know, you logically don't know. You know, it's fine to it's fine to not know. I don't know. I don't know a lot of things. Uh, my buddy Dan's like, oh, it's probably a 12-year-old. And it's like, I don't doubt it could be, but I, I won't, I won't, you know, say it will be. It, it was, I'm sorry. Get on the car! Come on! Get away from me, you damn dirty heathens! <coughs> Come on, get some! You know, we're a right squad, we're a right shit. Get the hell away from me! That's how I feel at Six Flags every time I'm, like, trying to get... Trying to get through the lines. It's just if I had a gun, then we would, you know, I'd have less problems in some areas and more problems in others. I'll take that adrenaline shot because adrenaline. Get the hell down, my friend. No climbing. Jeez. I think this is your car. Reloading here. Reloading. Maybe it is his car, and I just don't know. It's funny because I just bought an Alienware PC, and I saw another PC online that I was down like, another uh, laptop online. I was like, I should pick that up, and I just realized like, oh, I already have an Alienware. And then I kind of, I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't get it. And then I kind of thought to myself. Screw it! I'll get both. Oh, look at right here. Ninja sword here. Ninja sword here. It's that. Fire bullets here. Is it weird that I never knew of this area? I never knew of this top area here. Fire bullets here. I'm gonna pick them up, but I lose my health kit. Reloading. Let's go. Excuse me, sir. I will have to ask you to please leave the please leave the highway. Thank you for your cooperation. Boom! Click click. Uh, I played the Shrek mod, and it was just weird. Well. Not as much weird as it was just creepy, I guess. I'll take this. Hmm. Uh, I love the secondary. I love the shotguns as secondary mod. That's one of my favorite mods. Uh, this is this is how I like to imagine an apocalypse would go, but it never will go this way. It'll be it'll like I'll probably starve to death or be beaten to death by these damn things because they seem to have no intention on biting you. It's whoa! Keep away, you damn assholes! There's too many of them. It's lowering the frame rate. Yeah, so, well, I've realized that when I installed this mod, I didn't really read the fine print, and one of the things they tell you is that, yeah, we increased the number of uncommon infected that are going to appear on the map, which may cause some glitching. Because, you know, the, um... Stupid Steam's, um... Whatever, um, not Steam, uh, Valve's, uh... 
AI manager, whatever it's called, game master, dungeon master, whatever the hell it's called, uh, can't handle this many infected at once, and it kind of slows it slows the game down a bit. But yeah, as you can clearly see, it's like it runs perfectly fine at the highest highest graphic settings when I'm not doing anything. When there's just like you know a class, when there's just a normal number of zombies on the map. But the minute the AI director has to, AI director, that's what it's called. The minute he the AI director has to start um start uh, managing you know like three to four times the zombies it was built for, then you have problems. Which is why in which is because uh, I because I ha you know I I know that's the problem only because uh, when Left 4 Dead 2 switched. When I'm, uh, they made Left 4 Dead 2, one of the announcements is that the AI director will actually be able to handle more zombies. That was one of the uh, tasks they uh, specifically said he would be able to do better, is handle more zombies, which really brings up the idea that, yeah, you know, so obviously this one has a limit, too, of how many zombies it can handle on map on uh, screen at the same time. And it's also with graphics rendering, too, where it's like, where it has to, you know, it's like Minecraft, you know. Yeah, one area will be 100% fine, but then when it loads the next area, it'll slow down a bit because it's got to load another chunk. Look at door. Let's just go. I don't ever explore. What the hell? What are you doing up there? Hopefully, it's fixing the sign because that sign needs a little bit of fixing. Excuse me, madam. Hold this. I don't like my teammates. Come on, guys, get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Cut. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. All right. Come on. Come on. No. Problem solved. Oh. Well, I shot right through her ass into uh, the zombies. What else would you want? Excuse me, sir. I have to ask you to leave the room. No, you're fine. Never mind. Just stay in there. Hello. I hate the. I hate the special infected. I I comment down that the like the first game. It's like I hate them because it just yeah it makes the game more difficult, but it really doesn't simulate the you know kind of a fun fun apocalypse that I want, where it's just a bunch of like people where I don't have to feel any you know where I get to feel the opposite of Modern Warfare 2, where instead of just shooting a bunch of innocent people, I'm shooting a bunch of people that are trying to beat me to death because they're all infected with some sort of unknown virus that we either have an immunity to, or we just haven't contracted yet. Excuse me, madam. Oh, jeez. These people got to learn to stay in their rooms when we tell them to. I mean, I'm walking... A madam, return to your room. Sir. Oh, wait, you're already in your room. You should turn the TV on next time, you idiot. Defib unit here. Defibrillator here. I'm checking every room. Because we're the SWAT. We gotta make sure all the rooms are safe. I said it. <laughs> I just checked to make sure of. Uh, uh, checked to make sure that the audio was still recording. Because imagine this without audio. It'd be like my Let's Watches, except more depressing. Uh, everybody wants to watch me play play a game, you know, with no audio. I don't even want to watch famous people do that. Let alone, let alone. I I get like five views a video. Yeah, if I don't have audio, I'm gonna get like I'm gonna get negative five views. Why is it that this wall? I mean, look at this wall. Yeah, there's a bit of wood between it, but actually, now that I look at it, it looks like they cut out this wall, put wood in the interior, and then started framing it to fix it. So they must have cut this out, repaired it, and then started putting this in again. Put this up. God, get out of here, guys. It's my hotel room. God damn it! All these fangirls coming into. Uh, Coming in. Oh, we love insert review here. Oh, we love you. Keep talking. I wish. Anyway. Excuse me, sir. Again. Another one of those. Just to get to take a shower. Oh, you got blood all over the shower. I hope you're going to clean this up, young man. Beat I'm going to... I'm waiting for the day that... We're get the hell down. Sir. Stay on the floor. Should learn this. Down here. Uh. Also, I use Bitdefender, and it takes up a lot of processing power on my laptop, which is what I which is what I play all my new games on. All of my games, well, now I do. Well, I play all my games on, and and uh, yeah, um, it if Bitdefender's not in um, game mode, it starts scanning in the background, which is why you see some like slowdowns every once in a while when there's nothing on screen, there's like nothing happening. I like how we missed every shot except for, like I had to walk up and we missed you know they're like just like <laughs> like every bad guy from every um from <laughs> well I was gonna say I was gonna say from an 80s film but you know, pretty much any f any film really where it's an incompetent bad guy or just a meaningless henchman they don't actually have ever hit anything I wonder if they pay for training I always think about those things like I'll have those thoughts randomly when I'm at work I'll just kind of be wa I'll just kind of be you know Stacking crap and moving heavy boxes, and I just kind of think to myself, you know what? Do they actually pay for training for the henchmen and like and like um, you know these uh 
all of these like uh, movies with bad guys in it. You know, it's just like a thousand meaningless henchmen. They're like, do they pay these guys, or did you know where did they find them? How did these guys come about? Because it's always so interesting when you kind of just think of that. Because sometimes, sometimes there is no answer and it's just stupid, but sometimes there is an answer. Come on. Stop hitting me, damn it! Oh man, this is just like Disneyland, where I'm trying to get on the freaking. My dad loves the uh, Hall of Presidents, and we were, people were literally pushing to get into it. And you know what? I'm taking out all my anger now, just bashing people and hitting, it, shoot, blasting it with a bunch of twelve, with a bunch of uh, twelve gauge buckshot. Oh no, Ellis is down. I will save you. Here, grab me. Give me. Nope. Give me. You son of a. Time to move. Let's go. Come on, come on, man. Get up. You're wearing riot armor. I don't know how you went down though. I'll be honest. Ah, the trench gun. I got a heal. Wait here. Come on. Better. Much, much better now. Drop your full ammo weapon for the shotgun. I did. Take this shortcut. Okay. Down the hill. If you jump it, I think it kills you. Hmm. Swamp water. Oh, that's why we didn't go that way. The bridge is out. Although, we would never have seen that because the cars just line up next to the bridge. Down the river. Come on, I gotta go get. I'm like bleeding out here. No, shut up, shut up, stupid, stupid game trying to assist me. I don't need assistance. There's no assisting in a zombie apocalypse. Get away. Hmm. I'd hate for a zombie apocalypse to happen. I mean, it would be fun for about the first 30 seconds, and then you're like, oh, I can steal everything and do anything I want. But then you realize that, yeah, I actually have to do things now. Like, I have to actively survive. And, you know, there's a lot of things I like, like indoor plumbing and be having the ability to bathe, which some some countries in today still don't have. Some developing nations still don't have those abilities. And you know what? We take everything like that for granted because we're Americans. Actually, people always say, like, Americans, uh, you know, it's like, oh, Americans, they take everything for granted. But really, it's most developed nations, let's be honest here. It's just that we we just show it. We we actively express the fact that yeah we've got all this crap and no one else does because only because mostly because we just go into other nations and just show them how much better we are. And uh, that's yeah it's like every other every developed nation does. Oh my God, Ellis, Ellis, the hell, man, get the hell up, man. Stop dying on me. I don't know why you keep dying. Maybe the AI is faulty in this one. Because the AI kind of randomizes every time of what they grab and what they do. At least I think it does. I'd hope it does, because that's what it feels like. We should heal. Oh, look. A car. Good thing we can't take any of these cars, because they're all mysteriously out of gas. Come on, yo. None of that. Uh, he's like, yeah, don't shoot me, you know? It's like in, it's like when you're playing Battlefield, and you're shooting, and you're firing a machine, like you've deployed the bipod, and you're just shooting a machine gun, and then somebody decides to prone in front of you, and you shoot him in the, f and you just shoot him in the ass, and it's like, really? You, I can't say you didn't deserve that. I mean, you literally walked in front of me. Also, they tell you that you should crouch so people can shoot above you. The AI will never crouch. That, and if they have, I've never, I've never seen it nor noticed it. I've never seen it nor noticed it. I think I really hate the tank in this game. To me, it's just a cheat. It's just a. Uh, I mean, it's not hard to beat only because. Um, get away from Ellis. Ellis, you're going to make it survive. Ellis is down. Ellis is down. Uh, Olympus has fallen. Olympus has fallen. White House down. That was me slowing it down. There was no, that was in no way, shape, or form the PC slowing down because oh, I got him out of ammo. Gonna have to reload somehow while whacking miscellaneous bitches in the face. How many people must live in this town? I would, I mean, well, in the first one, I think I killed like 800 people. Mass. I'm sorry, I didn't kill. I massacred them. Just blasting people as they walk up to me. Ah, uh, we're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Shit! Pipe on. Oh my god. We gotta move. Boom! 
Into the safe room. Into the safe room. Into the safe room. Because, uh... No way we're gonna survive this. Come on. Yeah, I'm in. Get the hell out. Guys, I'm gonna hold the door open for you. Come on, guys. In the safe room. Come on, Alice. Ellis, you're almost here. Ellis, back up. Back up. Just keep backing up. I got you. Help coach up. Rochelle, if you can help... No, nope, shit! <laughs> Close the damn door! <sighs> um... What should I do? I guess I'll just heal. I mean, if Rochelle can handle it... Rochelle's down too, I guess. What the hell? I'm just gonna shoot out this hole. Just gonna shoot out this hole and hope my dreams come true. I'll come out there, guys, if I can, but... Trust me, I'm not risking my life to save miscellaneous... Miscellaneous people. I mean, I'm I'm Ash I'm Ash Williams. You know, I've got to go find the Necronomicon. Looks like a horror picture when I keep seeing these faces pop out. It's like slugging them. I do want to play Sunder the Arrival, but I'm gonna do like a serious playthrough, so I'll do it like sometime in the afternoon. I didn't even notice there was a car there, nor did I hear anything about it. Damn it! Uh, maybe I could save Rochelle, but Coach is definitely not getting saved. gonna sit here with my magnum and just blast people. I'm coming, Rochelle. I'm coming. Jesus Christ. Get the hell away. No, I just healed. That fuck shit. Get them. There's a reason we don't let you in the safe house. It's because you mess everything up. Rochelle. Damn it. You saw it. I was close. Oh well. Better just close this now. Happy New Year. Four hundred and two. I think that grenade I think that pipe bomb I threw did most of the damage. Uh I think one of the next games I'm gonna um play is uh because I I always get comments. Well, always. I've got I've got like a couple of messages and a co and two comments that say that oh you got to play newer games and play the older games that you love that you got to get attention and then get let you know then people will watch your other ones. And I'm like I don't really care about attention, but I think one of the next games I'm gonna play is Zax the Alien Hunter because uh, it's a really weird. It was kind of fun. It was one of those uh, another one of those classic games I had. Rochelle actually had a melee weapon. That surprises me. I don't think anybody had a melee weapon. Jail on the fence though. Four hundred and two. Oh no, you can see my gamer tag. I don't care. Like anybody out there is good. I mean, the only thing that anybody would act there could actually do with my gamer tag is just send me hate mail. That'd be it. Even though I didn't get any kills, I still got third place. Hmm. Who's that your rules? Never heard of him. Any good? He said something. I didn't care what he said, but he said something. That's all that matters. Uh, breaking stuff to look tough, man. So yeah, I'll play Zax the Alien Hunter because it's another one of those games from my childhood. I didn't actually have that many games when I uh, when I was when I had when my computer actually ran XP. It didn't have many games on it, to be honest. It had a. Yeah, I, I know I had Zax, the Alien Hunter, Moonbase Commander, especially. That was like my favorite game. One of my favorites, that is. I think I, I beat it a couple times as a kid, but I didn't beat it that many times because it was actually it was actually pretty hard when I first got it. Uh, I had Zax, the Alien Hunter. I had um, the Command and Conquer entire series because my uncle gave that to me. Oh, hush my mouth. Rochelle is crouching. Usually, uh, they've never... Well, in the, when you play normally, they never crouch. Maybe it's the anti-riot mod. But I've never seen them crouch normally. Because they always just take... They always just get my goddamn way and take all the bullets. Maybe she wasn't crouched. Maybe she was just hunched over. Because they're all kind of hunched over. Kill every clown you see. That's something Ash Williams would say. Uh, I uploaded my OIA videos. That was, that was interesting. I was like, you know what? People are going to get me hate for this, but... 
I put a disclaimer on the on the playlist that says I that my views in no way, shape, or form impede you and you know prevent you from enjoying the game or liking it yourself. We goddamn loading, man. Why don't you just reload? It'd be faster. Yeah, and I uh, I specifically made the comment that hey, I what I think in no way, shape, or form affects how much you like the game or if you like or if you're the developer for making more games, you know. They're just my opinions on it. I, I think I'm going to play with the format a little. I'm going to play with the format a little bit more. Because I have I have some ideas that will spice it up. But, uh... Yeah, so I'm going to continue. I've got a bunch of Boya videos I've got sitting on standby. I like how they're all just beating the shit out of each other. And it's like, maybe that's one of the... Like, since uh, the anti-riot mod um, spawns, like I think, I think um, probably like four times the common infected, maybe that they beat each other up, you know, out of like one in five in the anti. I will honk that clown's nose. Hey, look, staff. I'll staff this. This is my boomstick. I was thinking of going back through these videos, and uh, doing, I was doing, gonna do a highlight video. It says um, "Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2 highlights," and uh, I was just gonna add in all of Ash's. I, I would take certain scenes where it would up, where uh, some of Ash Williams' lines would fit in, just you know, you know, like, yeah, yeah. Like I'd walk up to the witch, and just and she'd be like, "Who the hell are you? Name's Ash. House wears. Oh my God, a pistol! I could do absolutely nothing with that." Right shield. I'll take this. You never know when you need more flames. Pipe bomb. Hmm. Hey kids, All go nuts! Me Get a snipper rifle. I'll grab the AUG though. Totally worth that. Great accuracy. I like how this. I like how you just find like random guns laying everywhere because that means at some point someone must have walked through there and placed those guns. I mean, we do find a gun shop, though, so I'm really, I'm really glad they got that cliche out of the way. Because every, every southern town has a has a big gun shop that is that's only got one person running it. That always reminds me of um, Dawn of the Dead when there's the when they're in the mall and they look across the street and there's a guy that's like starving to death, you know, that runs a gun shop. I'm like, really? I'm like, why don't you just sit out there every single day, you know, like all day with like machine guns or rifles or pistols or whatever you'd have? You'd have a bunch of guns. Because there was nothing downstairs, he had already blocked it off. As you, um, as he clearly, s as he showed later, it's like it was all blocked off. There was nothing preventing them from, um, nothing allowing the uh, zombies in. So he could have just spent all day firing every bullet he had into all the zombies. I mean, what was he going to do with the rest of the bullets? Sure, save one for yourself in case you, your plan fails. But it's like you know, you now some people will argue that well, there was a million zombies. How are you going to do with that? It's like well, just m just use a million bullets. I mean. A shotgun? I'm pretty sure he has 12 gauge buckshot. Just sit up there and just start pummeling down there. Make a pipe bomb, you know? Pretty sure that building's got pipes for AC or anything. You know, make a pipe bomb. Make anything. You know, don't just sit there and be like, I'm starving to death. And it's like, well, if you're not going to help yourself, I don't know what I'm going to do. Ooh. Take the day out here. Well, it's like, well, if you're not going to help yourself, I don't understand why we should help you. I mean, yeah. Ooh, grenade launcher. Grenade launcher here. I actually need to use the grenade launcher, sadly, because uh, one of the mods is that uh, is enhances the grenade launcher. I really want to see uh, how much it's actually enhanced. Excuse me. Hold that. Hold. Fire in the hole. Whoa! Looks awesome. Hmm. I'll watch this way just in case. Oh. Do that. Hmm. Mm hmm. Ah! Starting to get through now. Did that do any damage to us, or is it non explosive? Or maybe it's like a shotgun. Nope, definitely explosive. This should be like the ultimate weapon to find in a zombie apocalypse, just a grenade launcher and just like, THERE'S A ZOMBIE OVER THERE, POOMK! Where are the zombies? I don't see any zombies. Maltovs, man, everywhere. Oh, there's a... I guess there's fire over here. 
Don't play with fire. You might get burned. Don't bite the fire, man. <laughs> I protected Coach by blasting him with a 25mm uh, grenade. That's how I would protect people, just firing grenades and everything. Reminds me of the auto grenade launcher from Fallout 3 that just ching 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 Uh, Fallout, no, Fallout New Vegas. Fallout, I think it's Fallout 3 New Vegas according to what I hear. Maybe it says that on the box, maybe it doesn't, I don't care. Hmm, where is my Fallout 3 game? Move! I would really like this game to have destructible environments like, um, Battlefield 4. I think it'd be really interesting just to walk around like this and just blow holes in buildings. You know, it's like, oh, we need, Nick, we need a door! Blow like one of the uh, openings up. I really hope Valve learns how to count to three. Oh. Man. Oh, God. Just bashed Rochelle in the back of the head with a 20 millimeter grenade. I don't pick up many fire bullets. They're not useful, in my opinion. Excuse me, sir. Shield. Guns here. Ooh. I want to take that, but I know I can get it later. I got pistols here. Ugh. Duck, damn it. Knock on the floor. That's all they are, though, because we're running out of ammo here. I like how I can somehow reload a grenade launcher with one hit while bashing it into somebody's face. I don't know if that's the music, like the music's fault, that it's... Wait, I got an idea, got an idea. Fire in the hole. Nope. Didn't work. That would have helped like an hour ago. If you're still getting hurt by the fire, you were the worst AI I've ever heard of. Ellis, man, nobody likes you, apparently, because everybody's beating the shit out of you. I'll grab the M6. Oh, no, it's the AK. Oh, I'll grab that. Chainsaw. Grab the chainsaw, too. One hit kill weapon, man. Take that. Again, it's like, who put up these pictures? It's like, safe house, this way. Like, who would know what a safe what the safe house icon should look like? Guns here. Somebody don't need these. Reloading. Man, there's gas and fog. A little bit of everything, everywhere. I have to keep refreshing my page, though. See, I wish we could just bash down that, and we've, you know, gone so much faster. What hell is that sound? Eat 7.62 millimeter rounds. Actually, I think it's 5.56, because it's the AK-74. <laughs> You man, I am Ash. I've got my sh I've got my chainsaw and everything. Sadly, sadly, um, uh, I'm the Ash Williams from uh, the second part of Army of Act Two of Army of Darkness, where he act where he's got a robotic hand that he built somehow out of a knight's out of, out of a hand for a knight's armor, which is sad because it really doesn't you know it prevents you from having all the you know the, the novelty effect of having a chainsaw as a left hand. I'm sorry, as a right hand. Is, uh, Bruce Campbell's left-handed, apparently. I think he's left-handed. He could be right-handed, and, and that was the reason. <laughs> Chainsaws do not cut like this, I'll be honest. It takes it takes a while to cut through bone. I'm gonna go down the fun slide. No. Yes. Down the fun slide. I like... Can you go up the fun slide? No. I didn't think so. Even though you couldn't realize. I've been hauling out a lot of uh, scrap metal at work, and I, uh, the dumpster's about 8 feet high. Laser sights here. Laser sights make your weapon more accurate. Thank you. Thank you, uh, missile. Thank you, God, for telling me that because only you could have said to put a text message in front of my, in front of my fucking face. Assault rifle. Assault shotgun. I'm gonna. Ha I'll give it up. I don't need it. I'll take the M10 over the. Uh, Ammo here. I'll take the M10 over the um, chainsaw because the chainsaw will run out eventually. Sadly, even though I. Try to find a mod for unlimited chainsaw. Which would have been awesome, but it would have been cheap, though. Maybe they could have made an unlimited chainsaw if they actually could. Oh, God. Hold this. Go play with that while I reload. Hey! 
Good journey, friends. Boom. Almost these zombies feel, you know, after, like, they they see all their friends explode, and they're like, I didn't get to join in on the phone. I didn't get to play with the blink. Hey! I didn't get to play with the blinky light. Go down. Good. Stay the hell away. I should have kept the Deo, though, with this chainsaw. was just so tempting. I actually found out you can actually play split screen on, uh, on the PC version. I don't know if it's true, but uh, I've seen a lot of reviews of people of people doing it. Maybe it's a mod. Maybe it's the fact that the um, that when Valve made this, it actually uh, has parts of the Xbox version in it, which allows split screen, and all you have to do is enable that. I don't know, but hopefully, uh, hopefully I can, because I would love to have a video where like Dan and I just sit on the same laptop doing this, because man, that that would be glitchy and annoying. Although it would be fun though. Turn power to open the gate. Good thing I can hold infinite shotgun shells. I would I would hate for anything else. Towway zone. How the hell could you park anywhere near this damn thing? Like where would you park? How would you get a car in here? Oh yeah, I forgot this store up ahead you can have um eat your I think it's Chipper for Ducky. You can have each your one of the stores in this game. You, there's a C, okay, there's a CDs. Oh, I'm sorry, records. And one of them, I think you can play um, Jonathan Colton's Re Eat Your Brains. It's all my. It's always funny because my friends like, what the hell is the re stand for? I'm like, notice the col the R E then the colon. That stand that means that's like it was an email. The gag is that it's um, it's your buddy. It's uh, and I think it's an, it's an accountant, and his buddy down the hall is like trying to get him to come outside and convince him to let him eat their brains. I think that's the gag. It's like an email. Let me out of here. No more hugs. You're all bloody, and you're ruining my outfit. Mm. Uh, it's always funny though when I when I get comments like, "Why aren't you acting like positive, like rooster teeth?" You know, they're always happy, and it's like, "Yeah, well, their job. I'm gonna be a good, good patron." It's Tunnel of Love, man. Don't you talk to me about Tunnels of Love. Hey, you keep no skipping. Reloading. This would be a horrible safe house. We ought to be cool. you don't stand See, look, that's not even strapped to anything. The grenade, grenade launcher can kill multiple enemies with one shot. It won't so, same can the, with the LMG. It said you're able to let your target have fire. Hmm. But yes, I've gotten comments where people are like, why aren't you positive? You know, a lot of people are positive when they play these games. And it's like, well, the reason I'm like, I'm usually tired is that uh, I have school and I have work and I do these in my spare time, which is few and far between these days. And it's just hard to, it's just hard to stay positive. And I want to submit these videos because I love doing it. I love, you know, I just love posting videos on the internet. It's kind of funny, you know. It's like everybody out there listen to my voice, my, my amazing voice that probably like three people actually listen to. Besides my, besides my friends, you know the little the little amount of friends I actually have. Uh, Got to adjust the pop filter. I like how like the fuzzy like the um, static on the screen changes, like it goes from like intense and you can't see shit to you got your wish yeah I, you know we're in an amusement park ride. This ain't that kind of ride, Nick. This is where you make out with your girlfriend. This is where you make. That worked. That guy's like, this isn't a ride. This is where you make out with your girlfriend. I'm like, technically, it's also a ride. You can make out with your girlfriend on pretty much any ride. It's how I imagine the Tunnel of Love. It's all... I'm gonna make it red. The tunnel of Love should be red, and it's not red enough. And I feel like painting the walls with these people's blood will be the best way to enhance the experience. I mean, I would make out with my girlfriend right now, but the problem is there's not enough blood skewed all over the walls. And I can fix this problem with my 5.56mm AK-74, which I am right now holding, and I have apparently unlimited magazines. I will paint the walls red with blood, my friends. Each one of you shall be part of the decor, and I shall make out. Oh, get out of here. Get... Ugh. I think they all stay together, and they're just like, eh, we'll come at you later. I just honked his damn nose. The damn dirty clown. Yeah. I like Steam because it makes you work for your... It's like the achievements Steam gives you aren't impossible. They're just difficult. You know, it's like you actually have to try to get the achievements. You don't just normally get them. 
but you can normally get them is the fun thing. It's like you don't actually have to do anything too difficult to do it. You could just technically ju you could technically just be playing the game and get the achievements, but you'd sometimes have to do laser something more specific. I'm this is the most laser sights I've ever found in any game. I'll be honest. Usually in any game I play that has this, the gun store is the only one with laser sights. I did hate now that I have now that I've modded Left 4 Dead, I really did hate the original guns, only because they just did they didn't look real and they just didn't feel real. Like the sounds they made just wasn't good enough. Just wasn't you know didn't sound like God slamming his car door, okay? It needed the Magnum should have sounded like God. Should sound sound like God, you know. You pull that trigger and all the zombies in the area will know who you are. Maybe there's are people just trying to get us out of the facility. I remember a while back that I saw a mod online uh, of somebody that took the original. Uh, that somebody that took um, um, what was it? Dead Rising, and he changed out all the zombies. He changed the spawning of all the zombies to people, and changed all the people to, and and then just made the people all just still people. And the fun, and the thing was that um. It's like apparently in Frank West's Frank West's eyes, he he thinks everyone's a zombie, but everyone's actually fine. Reloading. I don't like that. Reloading. You know he's actually fine. You know he's actually insane and Reloading. killing random people, and they're trying to stop him by grabbing him. Like, step out of it. We'll get him. Everybody getting up on him, and he pulls out like an axe and just starts like hacking away at them. Really a gruesome. Oh, another P90 Magnum. Once you get it, once you have a shotgun as a secondary, the P90, the Magnum becomes a just inferior. I think I'm hearing like, rah, 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 and I'm just like, I haven't seen anything yet. No door there. I say, let's lock the door. Stay back in your hole. I will bash you back into that hole. Uh, let's reload my AK with its standard banana man. Banana man! Shoot in! Here I am, come get me. There's intestines you know, leaking from the ceiling. Uh, now that's a tunnel of log. Sorry. <laughs> it reminds me of that line from the Universe series. It's like, Can my favorite movie is Cannibal Holocaust because of all the... It is a love movie. It's about people's love for eating flesh. God, that's what I'm saying. I've, I've used that joke to so many people. It's just like, well, Nick, what's your favorite movie? Cannibal Holocaust, because of all the blood. Uh, well, we know what I'm, Nick, I was talking about a romantic movie. It is a romantic yeah, movie. It's about people's love for eating Burn. flesh. Yeah. Here, take this. Thanks! No, just don't, just yell it out, coach. Just give us away. Tunnel of love, man. Why, how is there mist in here? What could be generating mist? It's not, like it's not like there's water in here. The water's drained out a while ago. At least, I don't think there is. This is supposed to be water. It's pretty flat water. Guns here. Yeah, I can't. You know, this is the time to have one of those 500 Molotovs we found, like you know, the entire way here. Oh man. I always love those experiments that showed like what a gun will actually do to a human body, and it's like you get hit with 12 gauge box shot in the chest, you're not. I always love MythBusters. It's, uh, MythBusters busting myths you never knew existed, and then and then it's like busting myths you never knew existed and doing things that are only slightly interesting until we make explosions. They had a couple that were interesting, but it's like it was more for um, my dad really. Like, I'll be honest, like, it was just more for my dad, because a lot of the, uh, thing, a lot of the, uh, myths they busted were, were for, um, things he would want, he would want to see, not me. Which I thought was weird, because it's like, 99% of the myths, I was just kind of like, eh, I never, like, what, what's a Hindenburg, you know? It's like, what's a Hindenburg, and why do I have to, why do I care whether it blew up or not? So why do I care that it exploded, and... Guns here! You know, and my dad's like, oh my god, the Hindenburg, let's ch actually check if Over it was made of fence. thermite. What do how could only this fence fall? That's n that's not how fences are built. If it is, damn these southerners for building a shitty ass fence. No, oh, here it is. I was looking around like, where's the door? I, 
I like how they heard it before the coaster even started. Go, damn you. Go, you damn roller coaster. Go, go. Apparently the rat man was here and has already laid out the path for us. Let's go. He's put orange paint on here because somebody's already gone through here, even though the ride was already closed. Why would the gate open after the roller coaster went past? It would make more, more sense for it to go as the roller coaster was lining up. I mean, I guess it's just a big uh, choke point that you have to go through for later, but still. Oh my god. Well, oh, I gotta film like I gotta film a bunch more of these videos. Not tonight, obviously. Uh, my buddy Tristan, bless his heart, he said that, you know what we should do? We should play scary games and have face cams. I'm like, the first thing that nobody wants to see is my ugly face. The second thing nobody wants to see is my ugly face. The third thing I want to see is your ugly face. I mean, that, that was pretty much the conversation. It's like, nobody wants to see our faces. And faking, you know, being... Because it's like, Sunderly Rival. I wasn't scared when playing Sunderly Rival. Because I've played it like 30 times. And I don't really, you know, I'm just immune to it. But Tristan is scared. Like, he's generally scared. He doesn't really like horror games like Warren. She doesn't really like horror games. Doesn't really like horror games that much. And, you know, she has genuine reactions, except except she kind of just like hides her face. We are slowing down, man. We are slowing. Ellis, man, come on. <coughs> Hell out. Pipe bomb. Go with me. Don't have time for Come on, coach. Come on, buddy. I like how coach is the only one's name who we don't actually know. It's just coach. Like, what, coach, what the hell's your actual name? Speak, damn it. Ah, uh, 27 health, which means that I'm ha I probably have internal bleeding and partly my legs are most likely sprained or broken. What the fucking beat me, Rochelle? Yeah, Rochelle, you may want to heal faster. Either heal faster or duck. Oh, yeah. I think it's like alarms off. I, I, I'll be honest. If I was in a zombie apocalypse, started a roller coaster, I wouldn't know how the hell it works. How the hell do you know how a roller coaster works? Like, what button would you press? Is there just a big, a big red? I mean, I know that carnivals are different. Is this a carnival? Because this seems like, like buildings. These seems like you know these buildings were built for this, so it doesn't. <laughs> At least I made it. He should have said that when everyone else died and I was in there. Would have made more sense. Oh, wow. 45 minutes into this. We're on the last chapter. Oh, man. This could take forever. I'm sorry, everybody who has to sit out there and pretend to listen to this. Or, in most cases, because I've checked how long... Because uh, I've checked the... Uh, how, many, how many views to how long you've actually watched this. I've actually checked that out. Uh, and it appears that uh, most of my videos are like... 11% of it has been watched, so nobody's actually seen the end of most of my videos. Although, I am very proud of you all for actually getting my one of my Pitfall videos up to like 63 views. Because I would, I would never have expected to do that. I was expecting to have like 1,000 videos, you know, of me just randomly talking. And then I just look back and like my best video's got like 11 views. And it's just like, oh, well, whatever. I got a notice from YouTube that says the tag system is no longer, is, been, is outdated and no longer being used. Don't know what that means. Maybe it's the tags for videos, because if it is, thank God, because I hated those. It's like, oh, what do you want your videos to be tagged at? Um, the name. It's like, you know, I want I want you to be tagging the name of the video. Because technically you can I mean with the tag system, it has to rely on the fact that the people, you know, would um put the right name in. And I'm not saying that they wouldn't, it's just that it's, you know, it's easy for me to make one, like, a podcast video that we mention the word Left 4 Dead, and I just insert that into it, just like, oh yeah, Left 4 Dead. It's like, yeah, Left 4 Dead. Even though we, we only mention it once, and it doesn't actually go, it's not even, you know, it's barely a conversation. Maybe that's not what's gone away, maybe something else has gone away, and I just don't know. I don't know, I just said that the tag system has been, uh... The tag system has been, um, removed. Which may be better, maybe worse. Heal coach with first aid. Coach can go to hell. I'm a very selfish person. It's like, I would heal coach if, uh, you know, he could actually beat the game if I died. But you can't, because once I die, I have to, you have to restart the game. 
You have to restart that, that part of the level, that is. We oh my god, the helicopter. The helicopter that's just searching around for no particular reason, even though everybody down here is infected. I mean, they technically shouldn't have been able to see... Did you see how low to the ground they are? First of all, all the trees should have been moving. Second of all, they should have actually have come pick us up, because they would have been able to see us. I mean, obviously they're looking all around, so why wouldn't they, why wouldn't they have seen us? I mean, we're wearing SWAT outfits, but that wouldn't have happened in the real one. I mean, we're walking around shooting, for God's sakes. And he should have been able to hear that, because there be, there'll, would have been no sound. There'll be no sound because there's no car, there's no nothing. The only I like how they all grouped up. Like the AI director's like, okay, now put them all into a pile and then just group them on the uh, group them on the survivors. We'll stop the before it's going. So yeah, my next game will be Zach's the Alien Hunter, which is a kind of fun game. Again, it's one of those games I got at Nards for like five bucks because you know I was I didn't know what games were on my computer. My little XP computer couldn't run couldn't run much. Oh, man. It's always fun when I submit these videos. Because I get to see all of, like, the 11... Because usually I get, like, 11 views, and that's it. And then it stop, people stop watching it. And I don't... You know, I don't really mind, because I'd, I'd understand. Because I'd, if I was that one person watching my video, I would only do it 11 times. I mean, I would only watch myself 11 times. But one thing I really think that YouTube does need to fix is the fact that, um... People like, uh, you know, like the creators of the video can use their own YouTube channel to get themselves views. And I don't think that's fair. Like, when I look at my videos, it shouldn't increase the views ever. Because it's like, oh yeah, you've watched your video. That doesn't matter if I've watched it. I'm wa what matters is if they've watched it. Or I don't want to know if I've watched it. I want to know if other people have watched it. And it's not important whether I have, because I could just, I could just uh, keep restarting my computer and doing it over and over again until I get a million views. You know, but that's not going to fix anything. That's not going to make me more popular. It's like, oh my god, he's got a video with a million views only because he was so... He was just bored as hell and just decided that, you know what, I'm going to... Oh my god, all of our intestines came out. And, you know, he's just bored as hell. And just sat down. Man, stop, put your intestines back in your body, my friend. You need those. You're going to eat my brains. You're going to need those. Things. Actually, what is the goal of these zombies? Just to beat us up? I'm not saying they need a goal, but, you know, I would, I would like some purpose with them. Because uh, what I what I'm seeing right now is that is that these zombies are just literally just beating the shit out of us. But it's like, what are they gonna do once we stop moving? I mean, they beat up each other. Wow, they all bounced, man. Even though we didn't move an inch. Another med kit. Damn, there's been like 60 med kits. Oh, but Coach took it. You mother. Oh my God, the peach pit. Whatever the frickin' hell that means. Take that. Take the ammo I could somehow take. Why can't I get in there? Oh, there's a table in the way. I hit it. Oh my god. And they painted on the doorknob. God. Wait a second. There's a door there. I mean, I guess there could be a middle room in there, but that doesn't make any sense. Yes. Take that. Set this right here. In case of emergency. Okay. He's got his Heckler and Kosh. Heckler and Kosh rifle. AS-50 rifle. AK-40. AK-74. I've got an AK-74. Could it move any slower? Let's go, let's go. Grab the gas can. <laughs> Might as well. One of the funny things that I love is that the gas cans are just like... You don't have to grab specific gas cans. You can grab any gas can you want when you want to fill something. Come on. Shoot the gas can. There we go. Fix that problem. It's funny how that does not work in real life. You can't just shoot a gas can. It could explode if it was um, if it was an incendiary round and the gas had enough time to be inside of the... Um, enough time in there where most of it evaporated, but unlikely. Things just don't explode like that. I mean, even planes when they hit the ground don't explode that much. It's usually just the engines. Even then, it's very rare. Just gonna bash through all these people. Boom, 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 boom. Wish I had the duck bill, man. I could be blasting everything. Oh, man, the duck bill. That infamous uh, attachment battle for that nobody freaking uses because you realize in, in normal core it's absolutely useless. But when you play hardcore, 
it's absolute. It's one of the best things ever because it can sh allow you to give you twice the you know hip fire range that you normally get. Man, it's just a tough one to do. Probably hear me clicking the mouse here. Come on, I gotta reload. Just get me to that corner. Man, I'm gonna die. I've lost. I was at like 90 health when I when I started my little run over here, and now I'm at 60. Use your riot shield, Trishel, or give it to me. Can you actually get damage using the riot shield? I bet you can. I mean, it would make sense, but then again, his riot shield. I mean, movies show that those. You know, if I pl I played enough video games to, to sh see that those things are quite impressive. God damn. Okay, I'm gonna try to make a run. I'm gonna try to make a. I was gonna say make a run, but I obviously can't run anymore. I'm gonna make a hobble for it. Don't shoot teammates. You can't tell. Oh my fucking! Come on, get out of the way. Get move, bitch. Get out of the way. Close the door. We're safe. We're safe. Get the hell out of the safe room. Good. Jesus Christ! They were like, take me with you. And I'm just like, shh, shh, no. Uh Ellis was the melee fighter. I haven't had a melee weapon this whole time. No, I haven't. The at the chainsaw at one point. Oh, God. 272. See how many people I've murdered at the end of this. How many people live in this town? I wonder if we just sat there how long we could just last survive, you know? I've been modding my Fallout New Vegas, and uh, one of the uh, one of the most pre most prevalent mods I've seen is... um. The uh, zombie survival mod, where they just there's just a house randomly, when, and once you hide in it, it doesn't let you escape, and they just in, and it just almost infinitely spawns um, ferals. And it's like I just want zombies to be prevalent around the wasteland, you know. You know. I'm, oh my god. Oh, I still have my med kit. Good. I say I can I can take this med kit. Okay. Okay. Midnight Riders. No salvation. Fairgrounds tour. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, are we on there? Unless someone has a better idea, let's rock. I like how the, I like how everyone's theory was that the next one was going to be about the Midnight Riders. You know how they because they escaped. I always love Valve when they do Easter eggs like that, where you like there's one. In the is it the passing? Yeah, it's the passing, where you actually get to see the Midnight Riders van go by. Which is funny because that's like one of the old. That's like because it's one of the few vehicles that actually goddamn works in this in this game. Which I'm not saying that it's unlikely that it, I'm not saying that every car that um it's uh, realistic that every car is um, out of gas or doesn't have the keys. It's just that there would be one or two that did. That somebody would just abandon. Grab the boomer bio. Hmm. Makes, always makes me wonder what'll happen after we after like we leave and there's no more like when we get off the when we take the helicopter on the last um on the last level and we get well the Chinook can fly away. It uh, really makes me think of like what are the zombies gonna do? They're just gonna be sitting there beating each other to death and it's just you know. Maybe it'll be like 28 weeks 28 weeks later where they, um... Where it'll be like 20, 28 weeks later where we just wait for them all to starve to death because they can't really do anything. Almost there! Ah, uh, the last level. Oh, well, last the part light. of this level. I am grabbing a riot shield. Reloading. Oh, he took my fucking shotgun, you asshole. I like that shotgun, too. Who took my shotgun? Or did it just fall through the floor? It probably just fell through the floor. Anyway. What the hell? I keep hearing, like, squeaky sounds. I don't think I was supposed to do that yet. Medkits. I think my cousin was playing this at his house on, easy, on the easiest difficulty, and uh, we ended up, I ended up dying at the end. We have to begin the rock concert to signal the chopper. 
Because this would be the only way. You guys ready to rock? I like how I'm, this actually means that Valve actually had to get a real band to like perform something. Yeah, you know, they actually had to get a band to do um, some music. Yep, I'm just hide in the corner. Oh, Fried Piper. I got an achievement. Yay, where I kill the, I burn a clown who's uh, following five zombies. Or ten zombies, or whatever. Oh man, this takes way too long to complete. I'm gonna wait like five minutes. I have to get the next fuel. I'm gonna have to keep the fire burning here. There's, uh, no way we'll actually live this. Come on, out of my way. Out of my goddamn way. Out of my goddamn way. Get out of my way, woman. Fire. There. God, get the hell out of here. Fuck, shit. I had 13 health. I lost all my health to it. We all lost all of our health doing that. God damn it. You can give Coach a shot, I'm not going to. Hey, get the fuck out of the way. Oh, come on, reload. Okay. Man, we have to burn him out here. Oh yeah, I forgot you have this box of fireworks you can shoot and explode like, uh, like a grenade, like a, like a propane tank. Oh, my Molotov on a minute. Fuck out of here. Fuck out. Fuck out. It's always interesting when people tell, when uh, people like, oh yeah, you know, it's like, how did you get all that audio, you know, how all that clean audio from the, um, you know, that clean audio from certain games, and it's usually because they hack into the game and steal the audio from it. You know, I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying that it's easy, it's just like, that's the classic thing people do, they just, they just go in and steal the audio files from the game. And then they just post them online and just say, hey, here's all the audio files. Don't actually go into the game and just have it record because then it'd be terrible. Usually the helicopter parks over here when I, well, when I usually play. But uh, now that I'm playing over with the camera on, I mean, fraps on there. It's probably going to be different. Why do I keep hearing squeaky sounds? Who here's got a rubber duck in their ass? Rubber duck out of your fucking ass, man. Fucking shit. Alright, well, apparently the show stopped. What? We're all gonna die because the helicopter hasn't arrived yet. Obviously, if they haven't, if we don't even hear them right now, we're never gonna hear them. They're obviously never gonna come. So we might as well just jump down onto those roofs and start running our way out of here. This is gonna be the only way to get out of here. Well, there probably wouldn't be any more fireworks in that show, in my opinion, because we probably launched off most of them. You know. Most concerts I've ever seen, you know, they only have one one um, set of fireworks that go off. And if they do, they have to reset them manually, so... There's a tank! Oh, shit! Rochelle. Rochelle was just beaten to death! Going in! Get away from L.A. Coach is just right next to the ride. Come on, tank. Come on. Burn him out. Burn him out. Burn the tank out. This is the perfect music to be playing. And the Halo uh, guitar remix, man. Can't think of any better music to play. Oh, shit. I the assault rifle. I think you'll actually start singing if you stand next to it. 
Well, I'm pretty sure he does. I'm not gonna find out, I guess. I'll grab a pipe bomb instead. More useful. But wait for that damn chopper. Chopper fucking big thing. Problem is, is like this is like the worst map to be on. Come on, our ass from here. Come on, get out of my way. Get a Molotov here and there. Got to use strategy now. It's the only way I'm gonna make it out of this damn place, hopefully. Fire! <laughs> Actually works. Just sit on the stage and defend ourselves. Oh, all the fireworks went off. Oh no, fireworks are like, um, not propane, they're like the, uh, gas. I think I just wasted them all. Sucks. Because they're really useful. And it shoots off a bunch of light really long firecrackers in all directions. Man, get the hell away. Arm and fire. Like, there's only two buttons on it. I guess it would have to be that simple. I would have, like, arm one, arm two, arm three, arm four, arm five. Oh shit, I'm out of, out of, out of, out of explosives. Okay. They're rushing the stage! They're rushing the stage! No rushing, man. I hate at the end, because there's like ten... There's like... I hate at the end sometimes because there's like four or five tanks, and if you're not directly near the escape, you're dead. Speaking of directly near the escape, I'm going to sit in this corner and heal. Come on, Ash. Come on, Ash. Or Coach. Coach, do something. Man, you friggin' idiot. You're standing there watching me die. <laughs> it is just revenge for just leave For like, you know, I must have, at one point I must have been like, yeah, I'm gonna leave you behind, Coach. First chance I get, and he's just like... God, gotta keep shooting. Gotta keep shooting, shooting, shooting. Man, that would have been, that would make Sonic so much better if Sonic had a machine gun. Was really the speed of Sonic. Technically, at the speeds, I was actually we actually looked researched a little bit that the only gun, oh, there's Rochelle sniper. Right? That the only um, bullet that Sonic, if going at the speed of sound, the only bullet Sonic could have dodged was a 22 L LR round, meaning that all of uh, Robotnik or Eggman or whoever you are. The only way he could have, the only way he could have um, ran faster than his bullets was um, <laughs> was was if he was uh, was if he was firing only 22s. Nine millimeters would go, uh, go way too fast, break the speed of sound. And we checked at the speed of sound at sea level. All right, so if you're not like, well, what if, what if, what if you're on a mountain? You know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But then we'd have to judge judge bullet velocity on a mountain. I don't know how to do that. But yeah, Sonic would be totally dead. He wouldn't be allowed to run any bullets. He could outrun the system firing it, unless it was like the, um, unless it was like a C-RAM, like, cam that you see on boats for shooting down missiles. I mean, guarantee he wouldn't be able to dodge that. Even if he was moving at the speed of Sonic, because all you'd have to do is find out where he was going and just go... Unless Sonic could move. I mean, Sonic maybe can maneuver fast enough to dodge it, but usually when things fast are faster than him or, or have the potential of hitting him, he has to, like, you know, do, like, a comedic stop. So I'm guessing he can't. He wouldn't be able to stop in time. I mean, I'm not saying he couldn't, but I'm just saying he'd be unlikely. Man, look at all those things. We've got tons of them. Shoot up there, man. I do know they sing, though. I've seen a video of when they set up an actual sound. Just shooting clowns, man. Just shooting clowns. What else do you want from me? Just shooting goddamn clowns. Ugh. Actually, get through this. Probably not. Fun. Get the fuck away. I've always, one thing I've always wanted to do with my buddy Dan is, um, we wanted to do battle side chats because we always have interest. We, we like to believe we have in interesting conversations when we play like Battlefield. And what we're going to do is record ourselves playing Battlefield. Uh, I would take out only the uh, 
only the um, most important things we do, like the most interesting things, and then I would uh, use that, and I would put that into like a video, and we'd uh, just splice it up, because I don't ever like editing videos. You know, I don't like editing too much out, because I like you to see what I went through, even whether you like, whether you goddamn like it or not. No. The lights went out. We're gonna die, guys. We're gonna die. The tank. Where is he? Make a fool out of him. There he is. Oh, I got a pipe bomb. Teach him a lesson, you motherfucker. Come here, you goddamn tank. I remember in Left 4 Dead 1, he had the tank had like 100% accuracy. Ooh. Oh, somebody took my pipe bomb, or it just disappears. Just have to spawn at the end, there's no choice. Because some, a lot of the times at the end of the game, it's like, a tank will, like, you'll hear, like, a tank spawn, but it'll never actually come. There he is. How the hell did you do that? I can't even do that in Battlefield. That game doesn't even simulate reality. Oh, shit. This is where my pipe bomb would have come in. Well, I'm gonna cover our escape. Fucking shit! Get me out of here! Go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta get to the ch gotta get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Get me in the goddamn helicopter! Okay, I'm gonna cover you guys. Guys, you gotta hurry up. If coach, you didn't take my pipe bomb. We wouldn't have a problem. Get in the damn chopper, coach! Chopper, now! Coach, chopper! Help Ellis up! Ellis can go to hell! We're leaving you, Ellis and Rochelle! Bye, Ellis. And then we have Rochelle and Ellis. Actually, we're, Ellis wasn't dead when we left, so we literally left him for dead, that mother, that bastard. Deceased. He wasn't deceased when we left him. He was still alive and kicking. Actually, so were the zombies who were kicking him to death. Hour and two minutes it took. Jesus Christ. One of the longer videos I've done. Uh, number of incapacitated. I was never incapacitated. Nope. I've used ten pipe bombs apparently, twelve Molotovs, two bile jars. Oh, and, yeah, 64 kills with the chainsaw. Did I miss general defense? I think I did. Come on, skip it. Alright. So, uh. Yep, there's Left for Dead. Dark Carnival modded for all of your pleasure. So yeah, that was sort of fun. Well, this is Nick from Minster Review here, and I'll see you later.